Hey everybody, back at Fallout 76, and I am super happy. Like, super happy. And you wanna know why? Because we're actually getting some good updates to this game. Some good changes, some... Ugh. That last inside the vault. It's just... Great. Great. Alright. Why? Because they, they're finally doing what I said to do... A year and a half ago. Alright? And that's, we need new legendary effects, and we need a rebalance to the current ones. And they're doing that. And it's, it, they said it in the inside of the vault. Like, we're going to get new legendary effects, and the ones we have are going to be rebalanced, and it's like, bah, so good. What is shooting? And I'm overcumbered on this character. That casual's full, and you are not. And they're not sharing perks. God dang it. But yeah, it's like, some legendary effects have desperately needed a, almost an overhaul with some. Like, Berserker's here. I want that needs fixed the berserkers All right berserkers and nocturnals I'm gonna say it's about nocturnals for some reason berserkers and nocturnals give you negative damage for not complying with the prerequisite like if you go over 80 damage resistance with berserkers your weapon loses damage it, it goes negative and Nocturnals, uh, if you try using the gun during the day, it also loses damage. That shouldn't be the case. I'm hoping that gets removed. Um, I don't know if the damage would need buffed. But yeah, uh, Mutants. Mutants is in desperate... It, it's always been in desperate need of a buff since it was first added. 10% damage on Mutants. Do I have a Mutants weapon with me? No, I do not. I actually need to use the... Uh, Overcumbered, I need to use the, um, script machine. Unless I don't have any more for today. I don't actually know. But yeah, it's just... Ah. Uh, I'm wondering if they're going to nerf some as well. Because Bethesda is not against nerfing legendary effects. Because, like, the last time... The first nerf in the game to a legendary effect has was to two-shot and explosive together. That was the first nerf. And I'm wondering... If this means that they're going to uh, finally fix legacy weapons, I think they're going to nerf them as well. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. 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 I actually want that machete. Uh, I need bad armor here. No, I want to keep all this. It's for a reason, keeping all that. But yeah, mutants. Mutants, both the weapon and the armor effect, right, right, are near worthless. And I'm hoping that mutants will become a very viable build in the future. Start collecting mutant stuff now, everybody. I'm telling you. What the? White Spring's gutsy. Oh, his combat inhibitor, or combat thing must have been hit. But yeah. Then they nerfed instigating as well. At one point. And I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if they're going to nerf bloodied. Like, what do you mean, nerf bloodied? It was already nerfed, but remember, bloodied is the only effect that goes up to 100% damage boost. Junkie, the, the other similar effects of junkies, berserkers, nocturnals, and furious, right, and furious, only go up to 50%. So I'm wondering if they're going to bring bloodied down to 50%, or they're going to bring berserkers... Um, junkies and blah 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 up to 100. I'm not sure. I'm not, well, we don't know what they're going to do because they didn't say. They just said they're going to add new effects and rebounce other ones. So that probably means, that probably means they're going to nerf, right, from a game developer's perspective, right, because I did work on a game. So I have some, some general knowledge of it, of how this stuff works. I think they're going to nerf the most powerful things we have now, which is basically probably... I don't know if they nerf anti-armor, but they probably nerf bloodied, because the meta is being a bloodied build, right? So they probably nerf that, and then add in a new effect that makes you want to switch to it, right? But then with the four star legendaries coming in, yeah, I can see what they're going to do. I can see it. Bring bloody down to fifty percent, right? They, this is what they're. This is what my. What I think they're gonna do. Bring bloody down to fifty percent, 
new effect, right? Hmm, what would you do? When diseased, right? Gain additional damage when diseased. There we go. Or maybe... While under the effects of a Nuka-Cola, gain damage? That might work. I don't know. Taking a drink. But it... Oh, and the legendary power armor, that's... I thought they were going to do it awful. Like, and I was, you know... When I heard legendary power armor was coming to the game... I thought it was... Oh, I got hiccups now. Darn it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be awful. Like, we were... Basically, what I thought is they were going to completely stop... Here, here's what I thought. Here. Let me gather my thought first. What I thought is they were just going to add new legendary power armor to the game, and all the power we ha armor we had now was going to become 100% worthless. Like, just throw your T-65 away. Throw away your Strangleheart. Throw away your X-01. Because it's going to become worthless. But in the inside the vault, it literally says, um... You can upgrade your existing power armor to legendary, and you know that—that's great. You know that—that's—that's that's amazing. And we're finishing the um, Steel Rain, uh, the Brotherhood quest line. My only hope is that we get some new weapons. Um, I think we're. In desperate need of some new weapons, especially for a rifleman. Like, I... Probably a new laser weapon. I would add in... Personally speaking, but every time there's a new kind of... Expansion, I say that every class of weapons should at least get two. Because, you know, Heavy Gunner got two. In Wastelanders. It got the Plasma Caster and the Gauze Gatling. Pistols got two new ones. Well, one in Wastelanders, one in the Brotherhood DLC. It got the Gauze Pistol and the Crusader Pistol. Melee weapons have gotten multiple new ones. You got the Bear Arm. You got the Cattle Prod. You got the, uh... The War Glaive. You got the, um... Oh, some other things. But Rifleman has never received a new weapon. I know what you're gonna say. Oh, the Rifleman in Commando got the Fixer. Sir, this is a combat rifle that's been reskinned. This is just a unique combat rifle. It's from Fallout 4. Yes, I know we had wep we have weapons that weren't in Fallout 4, like the black powder stuff, and we did get bows. Aren't bows are not a rifleman weapon? Whoa, that just happened there. That was weird. I'm do a daily quest. Right, pumpkin, pumpkin house is an easy one. Yeah. Good things in the future of this game. Uh, and with Expeditions coming. Yeah, good things coming with this game. That's all I can say. At least it seems like it, judging by what they've said. I, I'm just happy, because I've been disappointed with, like, almost every update. You're probably like, what do you mean disappointed? Wastelanders was amazing. And, see, Wastelanders... I don't think Wastelanders was that good of an update. Because... Now, you're gonna probably hit me saying this. But in a multiplayer game like this... Endgame is the most important thing. And, and by endgame, I mean things you do at max level. Like dungeons, raids, bosses. You know, things like that. And Wastelanders... Didn't really add that. It was, more, it was filler content, right? And by filler content, I mean quest. Quest... Filler content generally quests. Because the quests are supposed to get you to the end game. Now, if you think about it, Wastelanders didn't have any end game. Until uh Earl Williams, which was added later. See that was the end game for Wastelanders, which was added later. And the daily ops. Though that was added with steel the uh Vernon Dodge. Where is the pumpkins? I forget where they are. I know they're, like, over here.
Oh, there they are. There's a couple over here. Eh. Weird it doesn't automatically put that on. Oh, did I not put on... Oh. I... Man, I'm an idiot. Let's have green thumb on. Ooh, pumpkin. 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 And there you go. You don't have to go by the Scorch Beast. Because it, it, it tells you to go get the pumpkins by the Scorch Beast, but there's some, like, right over here. You saw them, yeah. Yeah. A new laser weapon. Like, why can't they add in the weapons from the Fallout 4 Creation Club, right? Like, the, a lot of those would be really good in this game. Like the God, like the um, Fallout 3 style gauze rifle. I'd love that. As usual. I know we have a gauze rifle already, but. Yeah, what else? Um, that one laser gun. And the creation club. Maybe they can't add them because, uh, some were made by modders. I don't know. I mean, they added other stuff from the Fallout 4 creation club. The Captain Cosmo's power armor. I mean, wait, I have the outfit. Uh, no, I don't have it on. There. I have it. I put it on my, uh, ally girl. But the, here, I'll show you. This is from the... They've added stuff from the Creation Club. Why can't they add the weapons? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I just can't shake these nightmares. Yeah, this. This outfit I put on her. This is from Fallout 4. Creation Club. Not a DLC. Not base game. This is Creation Club outfit. Hasn't there been other stuff from there? I don't know. Maybe. I'm only gonna go 15 minutes, maybe. Uh, let's see. I think I completed all today's... Yeah, I just need to level up. How far is this character from leveling? Pretty far. You know what? Let's go kill some ghouls. Just to get some XP. I'm gonna show you guys where to farm ghouls, and I found another space to, to farm ghouls as well. Which I'm gonna do in the melee character. Get tons of legendaries farming ghouls. I really have to get this character, right? Like, I really have to get this character to level 300. It has been too long. Just kind of log lollygagging. Because, I don't know. Because, like, for the past year, I just haven't been excited about this game. But now, that, that's, that, day, that Inside the Fault has gotten me super hyped. I'm actually hyped. I'm also sad, because uh, Defiance shut down today. Today was the last day of Defiance 2050. Well, they made a video. I'm gonna put that up tomorrow, sometime after this one. Oh, you'll see that it's today. And technically it is today, because I'm recording this at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. is the funnest time to record. Oh, you should really play this game at, like, 2 a.m. It's great. Like, it's, for some reason, this is, like, when everyone nukes. Like, I was playing, like, at 1 a.m. So, there was a server. It was, like, joined... As soon as I joined on a different, joined on a different character, uh, someone started Scorched Earth. I went there, I was, did Scorched Earth, another nuke. Alright, three nukes in a row. Hello? Did they remove the ghouls from here? No. They killed my farming spot. No, it can't be. No, I'm in caution. Am 
Now there's ghouls. There should be tons of ghouls in here. Now there's a ghoul there. Weird. Hold on, I'm going to switch servers and characters. There should be tons of ghouls in here. Like a lot of ghouls. Did someone kill them? Maybe. Right. God dang it, the control's locked up. That always happens when I quit out for some reason. I have to quit out the game and go back in. Uh, I went 16 minutes. Oh, well, I'll go 20. 20. Did they really kill my farming spot? Oh, well, I have other ones. Can always have the burrows. They're never gonna change the burrows because that's an endgame thing. That's supposed to that's supposed to have tons of ghouls in it. Maybe someone killed them all, I don't know. Could be. I have put out a lot of videos of how to farm that place. There's still ghouls in there, so I don't know. If you want to know what I'm drinking, it's a Crystal Falls sparkling orange mango thing. It's in a real weird bottle that's like real tall but real skinny. I don't know why they would design a bottle like this. It falls over so easily. It doesn't stack well in the fridge. I'm guessing they designed it like this. Um, the stack more in a box. That's not the weapon I need. I need my... No. There you go. That's a Ghost Slayer's weapon. Casual team. Join. Please join. Alright. Okay, game's broken. Always good. Alright, let's try this again. Should be tons of ghouls in here. If not, I'll just go to the burrows, but that's the... I mean, you're not going to change the burrows, because you advertised the burrows, the burrows as an endgame thing that was supposed to have tons of enemies in it. And there's also the White Springs, and there's the other new place I found. Hello. You've joined a team, and... I have no stim packs. Ah, oh, crap. Take that off. I'm gonna actually get one perk of ghoulish just to try and heal myself a bit. There you go. There, yeah, my melee character. My ghoul farming character. That's all this character was made for, to farm ghouls. You know, White Springs, back when White Springs was there, and you would... Wow, it's already been... See, that's the thing about this game. It's like, you can do... It, nothing. It, it takes, like, forever to do nothing. I, th I was like, oh, it's just 15 minutes. I've got plenty of time. And now it's 19 minutes. I'm going longer. I'm going until my point is done. Probably be like 20 some minutes. Or 30. An hour. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Ghouls. Ah, oh, good. Okay. One of them's dead, though. Weird. Alright. What you want to do? You want to make noise? I've done this before. Farming ghouls. Wake them up. Wake them up. Okay, yep. There they are. Wake him up. Because Bethesda, back in 2019, made the ghouls less aggressive, meaning you need to make n a lot more noise to wake him up. Because it used to be you could just walk by them and they'd all swarm you. You so you didn't even need to walk by them. You know, back when we, back when we did White Springs, we weren't even near them.
Wake him up, wake him up, wake him up. Oh, there's a legendary. Uh, and get the gold train going. <laughs> I'm gonna go down here as well. There's a lot of ghouls down here. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. They might kill me. They are definitely going to kill me. Close that real quick, and that, and I'm going to try and heal. Do not have any way to heal. Oh wait, yes I do. I got this. Heal. <laughs> The ultimate tanking weapon. Oh, that's not a bad minigun. Two shot and 10% damage when aiming. Not terrible. Where are all the goals? Wake up. Should be like a hundred of them. Is that it? it? Can't be it. Should be way more ghouls. Oh well. Got a pretty good gun out of it. That's not it. Where is it? Two shot minigun. 10% damage when aiming. Pretty good. Alright, well, see you later. It's been 23 minutes. I gotta go back, try to level up my one character a bit more tonight. Alright, bye. I'm gonna go render this.